Gangster's Kingdom, Chapter 6, Jay's Fighting Back. Section 1. Sorry, I filmed the art of no applause. Bowen is a nephew of the heart of Kay, head of the Hart family. His mother was Kay's little sister. Growing up in a prestigious environment and under the influence of his mother, Bowen found an interest in filming since he was a child. He got an 8mm camcorder as a gift from his mother on his 12th birthday and started filming everything with it. It was his favorite gift and memorized many happy moments. However, violence and crimes that had been running in the family made him intolerable to the bright and beautiful sides of life. New excitement was found him. One day, little Billy asked Bowen to shoot him beating up some guy for the purpose of showing how strong he was to his brother. Bowen was forced by little Billy to pick up the camcorder with shaking hands. He slumped onto the ground when blood splattered all over the lens. After the shooting, little Billy invited his brothers and some friends to watch it. Violence seemed so vivid in the shaking footage, especially when a splash of blood covered the lens. The camcorder had fallen to the ground, filming the beaten guy collapsing in the same frame. These coincidental captures boomed instantly. The documentary struck Little Billy and other viewers right away. They had never seen anything like this before. It was so vivid and impressive. Even they were speechless for a while. The news spread fast. Many people of the family came to see the film. Bowen became quite popular very soon. Lots of money and favors were presented to Bowen for his artwork. Most of those were violent shots. Yet, there were some romantic presentations for wooing girls. Bowen tried to make each film with creativity. As time passed by, Bowen was bored with these materials. He wanted to shoot a real film for himself. He wanted to become a real director. But the family made a strong point of opposing his filmmaking dream. Bowen started to work for the family, but was never really interested. His dream was not dead yet. At a wedding ceremony, Bowen got acquainted to a famous producer. He had watched lots of Bowen's insider films and really wanted to make a gangster film. That producer's invitation ignited sparks of Bowen's dream. However, the family still opposed strongly because they knew how authentic his film might be. Hello, my name is uh, Fu Manchu, and after almost a year of radio silence from me on the Gangster's Kingdom front, it is time to add another figure to my collection, the fifth member of the Hart family. So let's go check him out, shall we? Today's review will be on the damn toys, and man, it's been a while since I said that. And look at there, there's Bane saying, Oh, hello there, Mr. Wayne. I see you have gotten a new camera since last we met. Yes, that's true, Bane. And up here you'll see that it is for the Gangster's Kingdom collectible dot figure. And this is from the original stories. And original means, hey, look. There's an actor we like. Let's throw some clothes on him and pretend we made up a character. And you know what? I love him for that. And this is for the Gick 016, and it will protect you from rain, crying pumpkin faces, broken glass, and Hellraiser cubes, but only if they were made in China. So let's go check out the front of this shipper one more time. Because honestly, it has been way too long since I've seen one of these glorious things before me, and I cannot wait to look inside it because it only gets better. So I say we look inside this shipper and check out the figure. What do you say? So, after sliding the box out of the shipper, we find, holy cow, check out that box art. Now, I've been avoiding any news or reviews on these figures, the ones that have come out ever since the Mike Tyson figure came out, because that was the very last Gangster's Kingdom figure I got. And I missed out on the Pulp Fiction, you know, Jules and Vincent two-pack. I missed out on this one, and I think one of the Asian gangsters is out right now. Man, I'm falling behind, but you know what? It took me forever to finally get this guy. I got him at a really great price, and I could not pass him up. And as you can see, he's still sealed in slippery plastic, the way Marla Singer would say. So I say we remove all this glossy plastic and check out the box. What do you say?
So, with all the plastic removed, we get a better view of that box art and check it out. You've got a picture of Bowen holding his camcorder and sitting in his director's chair. I guess he made it after all. You've got the Gangster's Kingdom logo and it says, We all go to hell. See you in hell. And you've got the Gangster's Kingdom crown and the Damn Toys logo. And I absolutely love this box art. Man, it is so awesome. And it doesn't stop there. If you look at the left side of the box, you've got another picture of Bowen right there looking very cool indeed. And man, this is why I don't look up any reviews or any pictures of this figure online and stuff. Look at that goofy looking camera there with the googly eyes. That's cute. You've got a picture of Bowen there in the little heart symbol, and I absolutely love that. Back in the day when that's all they put on the front of the box, I miss that too. But you know what? I really do love this artwork. It makes me so happy. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, if I'd have looked up pictures of this online, I would have already seen what the box looks like and stuff. And man, it's bad enough that I already know what the figure looks like. You know, in hand, he's going to look even cooler probably. But yeah, I like to be surprised, and this is awesome. Now, looking at the right side of the box, and check this out. This is another picture I didn't know existed. This is so cool indeed. Got him holding a gun there and the same information and pictures down there at the bottom. That is so cool. But something else I didn't know existed was the back of the box. And check this out. You got a clapboard right there. It says, Gangster's Kingdom Studio Scene Penthouse Cut 4. Take 27. Oh my goodness. Date 526. Production company, Damn Toys. Director, Billy. So Billy's getting to direct this one. And you've got uh, the role, 552, and cameraman, Bowen. And that is awesome. Now, I don't know if I'd want Billy directing a picture because he likes to hammer people down in chairs and stuff, man. I don't know about that. You better you better get the, you better get the uh, you know, camera working right there, Bowen. Because if you don't get the shot right, man, you might end up nailed to your director's chair. You never know. But man, I cannot wait to see what's inside this box. So I say we open up the flap and look inside. What do you say? Now, the front of the box actually has a little flap there on the right side that's held down with magnets. And when you open it up, you will find nothing on the inside right here. And then over here on the other side, you will find his playing card looking very awesome indeed. As you can see, he's the fifth member of the Hart family. Now, I kind of consider him the sixth because the uh, Vincent and Kerr two-pack are actually number four. And I, I'm assuming they're both number four. That's just what they're called, the number four of hearts or whatever. But, you know, I consider this a sixth member because there's two of them. So who knows? Up here, you've got the Gangster's Kingdom logo. And then over here, you've got the little blurb that I actually read to you at the beginning of the video. And that is pretty awesome indeed. I love that they're still putting these blurbs on there. I love that they're still putting out these little cards and stuff because back in the day, I really thought, you know, wouldn't it be cool to have a whole deck of these Gangster's Kingdom cards? Cards and stuff and I never really expected them to get this far and I absolutely love them man this is so cool so I say we look underneath this paper flap and see what's under there shall we now after removing the flap we find the usual foam and in front of that we find a truly awesome comic book check that out yeah, this is something else that I never thought they would keep doing I mean this is so cool and I absolutely love it Man, seriously, these figures got a million times better as soon as they introduced the idea of putting comic books in there, and I just absolutely love them for it. This is so cool. Plus, these figures are still pretty affordable, and I love it, man. So let's look underneath this foam and check out the figure. What do you say? Now, with the top layer of foam removed, we find, holy cow, check that out. Obviously, this figure is based on Quentin Tarantino, and the fact that he's a director in the Gangster's Kingdom lore is awesome. Look at that worn leather jacket. This outfit looks so good. Now, one of the things that I really like about this figure... Oh, check out his boots, man. Those look so neat. But yeah, one of the things that I like about this figure is the fact that they kind of went back to basics. They found an actor right? Or in this case, a director and an actor. And they basically made a character out of him and they dressed him in a unique outfit. Now, I've never seen Tarantino wearing this outfit before. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but nothing's coming to mind. And uh, that to me makes this an original character. I mean, yeah, it's still based on Tarantino. Yes, he's still a director and stuff like that. But the fact that they didn't just, you know, copy, you know, Jules and Vincent from Pulp Fiction. I mean, this is this is way better because the other figures are just Jules and Vincent. I mean, they're cool and all, 
but they're not quite an original character for Gangster's Kingdom. And check that out. You've got his hands there. He's got rings on his hands. I absolutely love it. Now, it doesn't just stop there. Over here, you will find his director's chair, and that is so awesome. And below that, a lot of accessories. I absolutely love it. So I say we remove this figure, or at least look underneath the foam and see if there's anything else. What do you say? So, after laying the figure down, still frozen in carbonite, and looking underneath where his foam was, it is safe to assume that there is nothing else in the box. And you know what? That's okay. I didn't expect a horse's head or anything like that. But you know what? That is awesome. This is so cool. And now I say we stand up the figure and check him out. What do you say? So, here's the figure, fresh out of the package, still with the plastic on his head and on his hands. And I have to say... Pulling this figure out of the package, holy cow, his body is super stiff and tight. Now, in the beginning, these, you know, damn toys, Gangster's Kingdom figures, they felt a little loose and stuff like that, and they've improved over the years. Yeah, I think they've improved big time since the first one, man. This is so cool. So I say we waste no more time and pull off this plastic and check out the figure. What do you say? So, here's the figure with all of the plastic removed, and check out that likeness. It is no doubt Quentin Tarantino. I absolutely love it. Now, would I have rather had a Tarantino and George Clooney two-pack from, from Dust Till Dawn in the Gangster's Kingdom style? Yeah, big time, but you know what? This is close enough. Add some glasses, a little bit of, you know, maybe some whiskers underneath his bottom lip there, and you've got a Richie Gecko. That would be pretty awesome indeed. But you know what? This is so cool. Now, I left a little of the plastic still around his neck there. I don't know what it would protect him from. Maybe the jacket, but I don't know. The shirt's definitely not going to bleed onto his neck. But yeah, look at that coat. It is so worn looking. And man, they do such a great job on their clothes. On his little shirt there, it says violence, a kind of aesthetic. And that's pretty awesome indeed. Yeah, I love that. It looks like a real shirt. You got his belt buckle there with a skull. He's got little skulls there on his pants. That is awesome. Down his sleeve over here, you've got his pointy finger here like he's directing. And then over here, you've got his little holdy hand. And that is awesome indeed. Both of which done in the uh, square Gangster's Kingdom style. I love that. You can see his pants there look worn as well as his jacket. That is very cool. And look at this down here. The cuffs of his pants are shredded. That looks so cool. And those boots look amazing. I absolutely love it. Now, he didn't come with a stand, so I just kind of threw him on this one. Uh, that's one thing that these uh, Gangster's Kingdom figures should have came with from day one, but it's okay that they didn't because you can always get a stand of your own. But this figure looks amazing. Let's look at him from behind, shall we? So, here's the figure from behind, and I'm a little disappointed because I miss the day when they used to have things on the back of their coats and stuff like that. But that's okay. I mean, seriously, there are plain jackets out there. Uh, up here, you've got the back of his head, and that's very awesome indeed. I love this figure so much. I have missed getting Gangster's Kingdom figures. People have asked me in comments and stuff, you know, do you still collect them? It's like, well, yeah, but I've got other stuff to, that I try to collect too, and... I know these figures always go down in value and stuff like that. You know, you can find them new, you know, brand new and stuff like that. And they cost a good price. But honestly, you know, knowing that they're going to go on sale eventually and stuff, that's why I waited on these new ones. I really wanted them. I've missed out on the Pulp Fiction 2-pack a couple of times now, and I regret it every time. Uh, but this one I found for 94 bucks, and I could not pass it up. I mean, being brand new and all, this is so cool, and I am so happy to add them to my collection. Now, looking at his head up close and tilting his head back so we can get a better view of those eyes and check out those eyeballs. That looks so good. They're always so deep set and stuff. I don't know how they paint those eyes. That looks amazing, and I'm very, very, very happy with it. You can see how they paint their skin tone very realistically. I love the shadow there where his eyebrows should be. It looks like he's just got shadows around his eyes. That is awesome. He's got some rosiness to his cheeks. Yeah, I am very happy with this head sculpt. As for his accessories, he comes with two extra left hands. And check out those rings on the hands. That is awesome. And he also comes with one extra right hand. This one being a trigger finger hand. And that is so cool. Now, like always, I won't be putting my figure together here on camera. I'm going to do that when the video's over, but check out his accessories. You've got a watch right there looking very awesome indeed. Over here, you've got a gold bracelet that seems to have fallen down in the package. 
Over here, you've got a gold necklace looking equally awesome, and that is so cool. That's going to look really good around his neck. Above that, you've got some sunglasses hiding there in the foam. And next to that, you've got a baggie of bullets, and that is so awesome. Now, I'm assuming you can put those in the gun, and man, that's going to be so cool. Over here, you've got a cigar with smoke coming off of it, and that is so awesome indeed. Man, that is so cool. Above this over here, you've got his camcorder, and that is a really nice accessory to get. Man, I love it. You've got his... Uh, Rick Grimes gun right there looking so cool. Now I'm assuming you can open that chamber and put the bullets in. That is a nice touch. And above that we have his chair. And man, it looks like it's made out of wood. Now I haven't pulled it out, but man, that really does look like it's made out of wood, doesn't it? And after pulling it out of the package, I can honestly say that it is made out of plastic, but darn it, that doesn't look like it's real wood, doesn't it? You got the little cloth piece right there, the metal bracket to make it hinge and stuff. Now, I don't know if it hinges. I didn't try to close it or anything like that, but man, this looks so good. You got his name right there. Now, I don't know what it says on the back. Maybe it's his name again, or maybe there's nothing. So let's flip it around, shall we? Nope. As Cooney would say in UHF, nothing. Absolutely nothing. But you know what? I don't mind. This looks amazing. What a cool little extra piece to get. A little director's chair. That is awesome. Another awesome thing to get is this little camcorder. Man, that looks so good. And as you can see, the little handle there swivels up and hides away like a real camcorder. That is awesome. They did an amazing job on this accessory. I mean, that looks so cool. And yep, just as I was pulling out the camcorder, look at there, the chamber does open, and that is so awesome. Say, so I know that's where the little bullets go now. That is so cool. And check out the sunglasses with their amber lenses. That is awesome. Man, this figure was well worth the money. And I know this wasn't much of a review, but I always put my figures together off camera. I don't want to run the risk of messing them up or anything like that. This is just to show him off fresh out of the package, and I'm very, very, very happy with him. And you know what? He's a great addition to a Gangster's Kingdom collection. And man, he is so awesome indeed. So, there's my sort of review for the damn toys and Gangster's Kingdom Heart 5. <gasps> Bowen! And man, I am so happy with this figure. It took me forever to get it. And like I said, it's almost been a year since I did a Gangster's Kingdom review. And these figures are so special to me. And I really do want all of them. I just haven't been able to get them. And you know what? I'm so glad that I got this one when I did. This is just so awesome. And like I said, it's a great addition to anyone's Gangster's Kingdom collection. So, until next time, tune in for more... Foo Reviews! <laughs> Wait a minute. The guy's in the bathroom. Why don't I just go back there, shoot him in the back of the head, and we can get the hell out of here. Don't do that. Hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews. And I'm out!